Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib and we're back with an update on the Fire TV Cube third generation. I reviewed this a couple of weeks ago and one of the things that I noted in my review was that it didn't handle lossless audio all that well when you're running Plex on the device. And this is something that I know is important to a lot of home theater enthusiasts out there and it was a big disappointment. I finished the review, I sold my Fire TV Cube to a viewer, and I was ready to move on. And then I got a DM from Elias Saba over at AFTVNews.com, and he informed me that a new firmware was released right after I shipped my Cube out uh, that was supposedly going to add lossless audio functionality that was lacking originally in the product. So I went out and bought another one here, and we're going to see if this one fares any better versus the old one. Now, I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that I did pay for this with my own funds along with the other one we had in the other review. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. No one is paying for this review, nor has anyone reviewed or approved what you're about to see before it was uploaded. And you're also going to see me talking about Plex in this video. Plex is a regular sponsor here on the channel, but they are not sponsoring this video. So let's get into it now and see if this firmware update makes a difference on the new Fire TV Cube. Now, just to review the settings that I have in place inside of the Fire TV settings, I had surround sound set to best available, and I turned off the volume leveler and the dialogue enhancer just so that we wouldn't have any processing of the audio going on. Now, inside of Plex, I made sure that we had pass-through audio enabled here under the advanced section in the Plex settings. That's a big one. I also like to enable refresh rate switching and resolution switching for the video to ensure that we get to 24p mode. Now, when we last looked at the Cube and Plex, we found that it was handling Dolby Vision and HDR video just fine. It was also switching into 24p mode just fine. However, 24p switching was not working in Disney Plus and Netflix and a number of other popular streaming apps. That problem has not been fixed with the new firmware here, so it's still going to default to 60p on those apps. And we also found, again, that it was not passing through lossless audio. That includes True HD, True HD Atmos, and DTX lossless. Now, what I did to test the lossless audio capabilities today is I downloaded a bunch of test files for DTS audio. So I've got a DTS 5.1, your standard compressed DTS audio. I've got a DTS HDMA file, and I have a DTS X. These two are the lossless formats. Additionally, I have a 4K Blu-ray rip that has an Atmos True HD soundtrack on it that is lossless as well, and we'll be able to see if my receiver kicks into the proper mode. And we ran all the audio through my Yamaha RX A2070 receiver. This is no longer manufactured, but it does support all of the lossless audio modes that we're talking about today. And to ensure that everything was working, I tried everything first on my NVIDIA Shield. So this is the result of the DTS 5.1. Here is the DTS HDMA track, and this is the DTS X track. And finally, you can see what it looks like when we run the Atmos True HD track through it. So you can see what the display looks like when it's getting the audio from the device. Now we're gonna start though with the good news, which is that Lossless True HD audio does now, in fact, work through Plex on the Fire TV Cube. My receiver switched into the proper mode. All was good for the most part. But unfortunately, all of the movies that originally worked in Dolby Vision on the Cube are no longer delivering Dolby Vision to my television. So we were reverting back to just regular HDR10 even on the Dolby Vision encoded movies. So that was a bit of a regression there. And then we went into the DTS audio, and unfortunately, we did not get very good results here. So starting off with DTS 5.1, just the standard compressed format, we were not seeing any pass-through. The cube was defaulting to PCM. We saw the same results with DTS HDMA, again, just reverting back to the PCM format. And then when we tried DTS X, also seeing PCM, and we were not getting the full range of channels that that DTS-X audio stream was supposed to be providing. So where are things at now with our compatibility? Well, I saw a bit of a regression here on Dolby Vision. I remember it working last time, but not with this new firmware. But we did see now Dolby Atmos Audio and True HD working properly, 
but DTS is still a no-go here, at least through Plex. Now, of course, what we just experienced here could be the result of Plex needing its own update to support whatever new firmware features have been added. So what I'm gonna do is hang on to this box now. I'm not gonna sell this one because I think Amazon is trying to meet the demands of the enthusiast crowd here to provide features that they're looking for. So because of that, we're gonna keep coming back to this product here as new firmware updates come down. For the record, I am on 7.6.1.3, which was the firmware update that Elias said would be getting these features in his article. And I think Amazon acknowledged this through a few direct customer communications according to the Fire TV Reddit. So we are gonna come back to this, but right now my uh, current recommendation of this not being very good for enthusiasts will stand, but I do think Amazon's making some effort here and we're going to, again, come back and see if this does better in the future, likely after the new year. That's gonna do it for now. Until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters including Gold Level supporters Brian Parker, Chris Allegretta, Hot Sauce and Video Games, Logic AGR, Tom Albrecht, and Amda Brown. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.